So what's best about being an engineer is it, it allows me to combine the fundamental maths and physics knowledge that I got during my degree with the electron microscopy that I learned during my PhD and apply these along with other techniques in order to help solve one of the greatest engineering challenges to create safer and more efficient power production from nuclear energy. My research is to understand how radiation affects materials at the atomic scale because changes even that small can have a dramatic effect on the properties of that material. I'm particularly interested in how energetic particles interact with atoms in a material. Now these particles can be produced, for example, inside the core of a nuclear reactor or in nuclear waste or in outer space in cosmic radiation. And what happens when these particles collide with the atoms in a material is that it produces what we call radiation damage. And this can lead to swelling, blistering and even cracking of the material, as well as a whole host of other detrimental effects. So it's really important for us to know exactly what kind of damage is going to be produced in that material, if that material is going to be used in a radiation environment. So at present, the focus of my research is on nuclear materials, specifically ceramics and metallic alloys. And these can be used for nuclear fuel and also the structural materials within a nuclear reactor core. Now, the nuclear reactors of the future, these are the fusion reactors and the generation four fission reactors. They're gonna be even safer than the ones today. They're gonna to be more efficient and they're gonna produce more power. But in order for them to produce more power, they have to operate at higher temperatures and they're going to produce significantly higher levels of radiation. So we have to engineer new materials that are going to be able to withstand these extreme conditions. So what I do is I make materials that have very specific compositions and crystal structures. And what I mean by that is I know exactly the amount of elements that make up my material and also exactly how the atoms are arranged in my material. I then send my samples off to special facilities where energetic particles are fired towards my sample and the particles collide with the atoms in the material. In order for me to look at the damage that's produced in my material at such a small scale, I then use x-rays and lasers to probe my material before and after irradiation. I also use microscopes that use electrons instead of light in order to produce very high magnification images. By relating the changes to the atomic and microstructure of my materials to the starting structure of that material, I can then use this information to engineer new materials that will be more resistant to radiation damage. Engineering is an essential and integral part of our life here on Earth, as well as our exploration into space. It combines maths, physics, chemistry and biology and allows us to understand the world around us. So it's truly interdisciplinary and it impacts all of us. For example, the global population is increasing dramatically and this is going to require significant increases to our energy supplies. Yet we have to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions into the environment.